you could say things are getting serious around here. You know, we're getting there. I'm back. So I'm actually working on that puzzle right now because why not, you know? And I'm heating up right now some hot water to make some tea. I've been doing my echinacea tea every day still, but I've been drinking more tea in general, so I'll get to that. But I also got my new six by subscription box. Now there's trash going by. It's loud. It's always loud when I decide to turn on the camera. <laughs> by the way, this shirt is the one I showed you, I think, last week um, from Amazon for like $4. I kind of showed you I got these shirts. Uh, it's good. It's good. It's like lower in the back. It's a trash pickup day. <laughs> um, and then kind of just scoops a little bit. So it kind of flares out at the bottom some, but it's good. But this is a medium and it's still really loose. And then uh, it even has like a slight like cap sleeve to it, just like a little bit. But I like them. Four bucks, you can't beat it. <laughs> anyway, okay, that should be good. But anyway, this is the April tea box, my friends, if you are not familiar with it. I've been sharing it with you guys for probably the last like six months or so. They've been sending it to me and I think it's such a cool concept. And I feel like too right now, subscription services, which by the way, I just got a vegan cuts box into. Uh, we'll try to film that for you this weekend. I may have some big updates to give you guys, but I'm not 100% sure on this video even. Um, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow. It'll make sense then, but <laughs> we're gonna try to film that for you this weekend. But I feel like in general, subscription boxes right now are actually doing really well. And it's great because typically, Except for the real, real big name ones, like they're actually like smaller businesses. And I think that's great that we can, you know, uh, work with those uh, businesses right now. So anyway, I just feel like they're actually doing well. If you can hear that, I have like a scary movie on in the background. Anyway, but again, if you're not familiar with this, it's a subscription box where you get new teas sent to you every single month and it's super affordable. I do have a $5 off, uh, code in the description box so you get I think it's like ten dollars for your first box so it's really really cool they always uh, throw in reusable tea bags too because sometimes you will get like loose leaf tea too and if you don't have like a true tea maker then you're good and you can just use those but what's cool is like every box is customizable to like what you like so when you sign up you set up a profile of like do you like loose leaf tea do you like black tea do you like green tea do you like herbal tea do you like all of them i put give me everything you know i'm open to trying whatever but if there are certain ones you just don't like you can be sure that like you're not going to get those sent to you so it's just really cool because it's customizable you know so okay this month we got the fava tea company french breakfast caffeinated black tea i personally love black tea this is a loose leaf one uh so again i can use those little reusable bags tea head uh raspberry rose medium caffeine this is a loose leaf one too and this would have definitely more than one serving in it and then oh this might be the winner <laughs> orange lemonade okay by tilara tilara i might be saying that wrong but apple pieces carrot flakes blackberry and eucalyptus leaves beetroot pieces hibiscus lemongrass tangerine and orange that sounds like the winner. And <laughs> then we also got, oh, these are like jelly. Plant-based energy green tea. Pre-brewed condensed green tea. Interesting. I've never tried tea like this before. So isn't that kind of cool? It's super like simple, but I feel like for tea lovers, this is your box. This is it. And I'm a coffee girl through and through, but seriously, I've been drinking so much more uh, tea as well. <laughs> Today is technically technically uh Nate's birthday and I guess I technically I mean it is right but it just doesn't feel like it you know he's at work um he gets off around five I think today we went in at like 6 a.m and uh I mean we're not doing anything you know so there's that and even eating out right now and stuff I'm kind of torn on that I know a lot of people are like when I say eating out meaning like you know getting delivery or whatever um from outsourced places but like i get a lot of, oh these are tea bags okay we're going for that lemonade one i thought it was loose leaf but yeah oh that smells good mm, that smells like an orange candy like mm, that's, i'm excited okay yeah so anyway but i i'm kind of torn because i feel like it's <sighs> 
you want to help out businesses, especially local, but at the end of the day too, any of them, because you know, they, even the big chains, they've got jobs, you know, <laughs> keeping them, people employed. I mean, so there's that too, but I'm just going to let this steep anyway, but on the flip side of it, it's like, you know, the, the contamination of, you know, touching those things and not knowing where they, you know, how they were handled. Um, I do know that like DoorDash and Uber Eats and stuff is doing the whole like leave it on your porch. There's not even contact with the actual person delivering, but you know, you just don't know, you know? I've also read too that there's like a lot of you, it, the, you're not gonna get it through food cross-contamination. The cat just, hold on. <laughs> the cat just bolted. <laughs> and usually that means there's, cause my door's open, but like the screen's closed or whatever. and. Usually that means someone came to the door. She don't like it. <laughs> I don't know. I think it was the wind. Anyway, this is a really, really pretty color. I'm excited. I didn't do the water like super hot, but what was I saying? Oh yeah, but like they're saying right now too that like food uh, cross-contamination isn't really like a thing for the virus part, like I guess, but who knows, right? Like who knows? So I get both sides. I do, I do. But point is like, are we gonna order out food today? Probably not. We have enough food here and that's good too so we'll see he's probably gonna be tired anyway it's a early shift right also let me just show you since we're here i really haven't purchased anything in a while in general just like fun stuff <laughs> i really haven't my shopping has really changed over the last couple of years pretty much when i buy anything it has to do with the gym or it has to do with like working out right that's what i'm into but sometimes you just i told me i'm like i just need a little a little retail therapy and i went back to the classic old school bath and body works i'm a bath and body works haul for you not much but i'm my my skin as the rest of the world i'm sure is so dry right now right from washing your hands so much it's just ridiculous uh so i got a couple as in three uh because you need three uh i think it was actually like a buy three get two free thing and i had like a 20 percent off they got me and uh so i got three body creams and i got all brand new flavors to me or scents to me i say flavors because some of these are like confetti cake pop like hello <laughs> that's all i think of it let's eat it i'm wearing it right now actually because i got the body spray in it too it's good it's really good so all of these are new to me and so far like Mm, just smelling them in this I approve of each of them so yeah I got the body cream I got the confetti cake pop spray as well get these these are good it's like a sweet vanilla right and then this was like their new newest one on the page perfect peony so I got the cream and the spray for that too I have literally no body sprays none I need that <laughs> I have a few like perfumes but no actual spray but this smells really really good too not over like not overly strong it smells really nice so got that i should have closed that door why am i the worst with that there's always something going and uh then this last one smells really good too margarita cupcake it's like citrusy very citrusy which is kind of a weird i don't really get like the cupcake from it i just get more of a citrus like an orange citrus but good uh but you know that just came so that like you know was nice okay let's try this tea Mm -hmm. If you add like almond milk to teas and stuff, oh, that's good. Um, I love doing that. Sometimes I'll put some of the vanilla sweet drops, but I like just unsweetened tea. So this one's really good. Oh, you can kind of like taste that lemonade vibe from it too. Anyway, again, I will link that below for you guys to check out if you would like. I do recommend it. Um, it's good. Okay. I'm just making pasta for my kiddo. He likes just plain noodles with like butter noodles, you know? simple um, all right yeah I feel like so many of us right now like we're gonna if you have your birthday during this time like try hard not to get sad and down about it like I say that and I'm I put mine the November baby so it's not me I'm, I'm also older I don't really care but <laughs> the point is We'll all get our time to celebrate hopefully sooner than later. And, you know, it's just it's hard. It's a hard time. Have on in the background. 
um, The Forest. Do you guys remember that movie? Or Forest? The Forest? I think it's The Forest. Uh, it's on Netflix. It's scary. But anyway, so yeah, we got our, uh, the fire stick. I was mentioning that to you guys last week. I got that and uh got it set up in our bedroom and we've been loving that that's been really really cool so we have all kinds of things we've been downloading too to like check out different movies and stuff um so that's been keeping me you know busy at night <laughs> anyway mm -hmm. but yeah i'll check in with you guys um my mom was nice she dropped by um they went by Costco early because they're doing it where you'd like, if you're a little bit older, like you can go earlier, which is great. Um, just so they could get a few things and then they'll be all set. But she got me some strawberries and some grapes, which is cool. I haven't cleaned them yet, but I will. And so yesterday too, I ran seven and a half miles. Yeah, seven, yeah, uh, seven and a half miles. My pace stayed under 10 the whole time. I've had people ask like, do I, do I walk at all? Do I stop at all? I don't. Um, I probably like, I've gone further with stopping, but I'm actually like when I track it and like share it over on Instagram and stuff, that is like going. And um, if I stop, then I'm done, you know, with tracking it. So I'm going more for an endurance thing because I believe muscle memory will come back to me. Like my arms are not what they used to be as far as like how they look and all that. But I know that can come back fast because the muscle's still there. Like I'm still strong, right? But <laughs> it's just not as, you know, chiseled out, right? But the endurance, that's what you can lose so fast. <laughs> and so I'm trying really hard. So I've ran, today's Thursday, I've ran three days this week. Five miles, five miles, seven and a half miles. And today, because Nate opened, I probably won't do it. I'll, I was gonna do it maybe later today when he gets home, like at six, which I hate running at night. I hate it. I don't know how people do it. <laughs> but with it being his birthday and stuff, maybe we'll, you know, take it easy together. But I feel good. Got some new blisters. It's cool. <laughs> but I've been just running different ways around our neighborhood and, you know, anyway. You get it, <laughs> but just ready for the gym to be open. God, who would have thought I would ever say that? Here we are. Anyway, guys, I just thought I would pop in, show you that box and what just came in the mail. And um, I'll keep you guys posted with some stuff because it's a little bit stressful right now, but I'm also just waiting until we have answers and then stress about it once that's actually a thing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway hi guys all right i've put it off i haven't vlogged much this week because what what you been doing Ugh, nothing. what have you been doing wallowing it's been a rough few days because life like everyone else but we have some updates um i mean we're good everything's good but mm -hmm. it's just one more thing, right? But uh, Nate just got home too, though, from Vaughn's, and I was in the middle of making myself oatmeal, and now he says he wants oatmeal. So he's getting We can mine. share. <laughs> I'll make another one. But I uh, thought we could do this little grocery haul, and then you could give an update of what's kind of going on. I'm better now, but I was not happy the last few days. I was just stressed because we had no answers, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, um, so my store um, got issued from the city of Fresno. Where we live. Where we live, that uh, we had a closure of business or a, a cease of operations let out. There's some official name for it. Really? They told us to close. Yeah. So we stayed open for another day while our corporate talked to the city and it ended up coming down that we had to close our building. So this whole week we haven't been open for business of any type, curbside or anything like that. So. We've just been merchandising the store and trying to make it as pretty as possible for when we do open because it's just temporary. Yeah. Um, and we've gotten to the point now where it's uncertain of when we'll be opening. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. So through a whole bunch of different things that happen on a corporate side, which for those of you who know, you can use your imagination. Yeah. And uh, now I have to go out of town. So I have to go out of town to help other stores that are in my district. So I will be... Um, Gone. Out of town, I'll be gone. 
So, so now, not only is it like, you know, we're, uh, one, we're grateful that he has a job still. Yep, I had an option to not get like yeah, but, furloughed or, or financially displaced right. in any type of fashion. Right. Um, but I do have to kind of go out of town. But the company did make it as best as possible for the scenario, I guess. I mean, I'm coming home on the weekends. I don't have to fly anywhere. I'm able to drive. Um, my hotel is very accommodating. My schedule was very much thrown up as a when you can get there on Monday and whenever you want to leave on Friday kind of thing. So they're giving me the weekends to come home and spend time. So it's just tough because like he's been gone before and we've always said to you guys that like we don't do great with that. But like in the past, you know, like I could still go places here and, and do whatever. And now it's like he's leaving plus we can't leave this house basically. Um, yeah. So that's why he did just go by Vons and get a couple things because... I really don't want to go out in it, especially with the kiddo, you know? So, got a few things. Hold on. But yeah, so uh, that's where we're at now. And we didn't know, though, what was going to happen for a good three days. And so it was just very stressful of like, I don't know what's happening. I don't know, you know, what to expect. None. Of, we both didn't know. Yeah. So... We got some answers with it, but the thing that's kind of crazy with it is like they are trying to have it where they will reopen at least for delivery and pickup options. There's so the stores, other stores in my company that have been okay. the same scenario, they have been able to reopen at this point in time. So those of you, uh, Vegas specifically Vegas. is the example. Um, they actually are now doing self-contained delivery, which is actually a really cool idea by, by my company to, to still service customers and, and to have employees working. Mm -hmm. um, so having a service where we are taking the orders from online and then a zero contact option for us to be delivering directly to people's homes um, in a temporary licensed fashion because there's a lot of yeah weird legal stuff with with alcohol of course. well i heard but, that many states in general right now with like the rules with alcohol have been extremely lenient mm -hmm. um but due to all this it will be temporary but like right now if you wanted to order food from i saw this actually from andy almost which is an italian restaurant here in our town it's just a local one but i think this goes for many of them and including chipotle even you know how they technically sell um like margaritas there we never get it um, yeah. But you have to have it there, right? No, you can get one now yeah. and they'll deliver it. <laughs> oh, I have a phone call. Oh, okay. So Nate's on a phone call right now. We are in the process. I mentioned this actually on a live stream, I think, um, a couple weeks ago of refinancing because right now is a very good time. Although, <laughs> it's kind of funny because we actually locked it all in and everything almost a month ago now. Um, but we're still, it's a process, you know, and we're in the final steps of like getting everything signed today. And we got an email from the company we're doing it through saying that like lenders and stuff right now are like really, really tightening up and interest rates are going back up a little bit. And like the rate we got to like, is like not, you're not able to get it right now, even though things are so like crashing right now, still it's it's changing on that end still. So it's good because it's like we got in on it, but we're trying to do this all with like no contact. And it's, it's, it's an experience, but that's what the phone call is. But his oatmeal is fair game. Mm-hmm. Um, so just shoot me a call when she gets a minute. Okay, I ate half. <gasps> I walk away for a phone call for one minute. You eat half my food? If it's oatmeal, yes. Well, half is half. Half, half is half. <laughs> anyway, two, but... Two days too slow. I know. I don't even know where we left off now. But bottom line is, this could be very temporary or it could go on for weeks. We don't know. Like, meaning they could get the approval to reopen Tuesday and then yep. he's back, you know? Um, or it could be a month. It's it just, we don't know. So... We did, though, get, uh, just in case you're curious, I'm sure you're also very sick of talking about it, too, but I know it's very, like, interesting to see everywhere, like, what's going on everywhere, but, like, it, again, in Fresno, California, we just got word that we are extended uh, till May 6th, uh, yeah, 6th, I mm -hmm. said, 
and uh, I know LA, which is only like three to four hours, four to five hours south of us, just got word till May 15th. So, you know, it's, it is what it is. But anyway, um, yeah, I miss you. I miss you too. But on the other side of that, when I bought groceries last week, I bought enough to pretty much get by for all of us um, for a couple weeks and we're actually still pretty good. And so now it's kind of like, okay, I do still have more than enough food. I did tell you guys that like, I was like maybe gonna look into one of those like food services. I think I'm gonna go with Purple Carrot first because I got a lot of feedback on that one. You're gonna of, do it without me? I don't know, well, probably. <laughs> but I'm not gonna do it this week because I'm still obviously really good with food. Um, I don't wanna waste food right now, especially right now, you know? Right. Uh, and you guys get it, but that will probably be the first one I do, but maybe we'll do that next week. So with that said, tomorrow I'll probably have a vegan cuts box for you guys. We're going to do that before he leaves, um, instead of a haul, but I have a little haul right now, uh, to share with you guys, but I didn't necessarily need, need these things, but Nate's, this is his way of making sure I'm okay <laughs> before he leaves. That, that like, was kind of the list. She's like, well, yeah. I don't need this. I don't need this. I'm like, I'm not going to be here. I know just, what you like. <laughs> whatever you need for your sanity, yeah. baby. Um, all right, get, let's pass it down the line. Number one, number one. So there is a few items that we don't normally get that certain brand, but listen, right now being real, it is what it is and do your best and we'll reconvene <laughs> hopefully in a month and be back to normal. Anyway, uh, with that said, this is the Method. Uh, I've used this before, actually, the Ginger Mango, which is like the orangish color one, but we changed it up. I mean, life is dull. Let's change it up where we can. <laughs> uh, we're going to the beach, baby. We're going to the beach. Beach safe. <laughs> I hope it's like going uh, fabric softener. I'm good <laughs> on... on uh, detergent, but we're almost out of fabric softener. So we're gonna go to the beach. Yeah, uh, Method's a good brand though, uh, plant-based and everything. It's flavored water. It's flavored water. Nate's like, no, can we get the Windex? <laughs> I want the World War II blue, my grandpappy used it, Windex. Windex, where's the Windex? Anyway, uh, then I wanted peanut butter. I guess that was very slim pickings. Very, man. You, you oh, have... yeah, well, think about it. It goes far. It's a high-calorie, dense food. Thank you. And <laughs> <laughs> it goes far. It makes quick, easy meals. I get it. Yeah, I don't like this brand. Why? It's good. We had it before. I didn't like you didn't it. like it? Mm -hmm. I like it. It's the Adams uh, peanut butter. It's the 100% natural, creamy peanut butter. Uh, I will say, I think it's good. It tastes like the Laura Scudder's one to me. Um... You don't like that one either, really? No, I do. That you one's do? Fine. They taste different. I really? Don't, I don't want to tell you. I have had a few occasions where I've like bit into some or had some of this and there's been some shell remnants. Uh -huh. That has happened. That has. But yeah, this is just peanuts and a little bit of salt in it. But I do like it. I think it tastes good. Okay. What there else you go. got? The limes. They had limes. They had lines. They I didn't have to wrestle lines. on the old ladies. <laughs> no one gave me. No one gave me some side eye because it was the last eye. one. Nope. There were some. There were some limes. All there right. Limes. We got some limes uh, to go with. <laughs> Again, he's leaving me. <laughs> to go with the diet tonic water, my friends. This was the expensive kind because that's all they had. Mm -hmm. You don't have to get the expensive kind. Just get yourself some diet tonic, which goes with the lime, which goes with the gin. I'll show you next week. There it is. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> but anyway, so got a four pack of that. Thank you. So this is one that we don't normally get. We try to get like the Method brand as well. I want to sw switch over to like the, the, the dryer balls and try those out. I just haven't yet because we've had enough of the uh, fabric softener stuff. But again, so this is one that we've kind of gotten away from, but we got the free and clear this time, but this is all they had. It's what you got to do, you know? So we've got some dryer sheets there, but I'm, I'm going to switch in time. Now, no Corona in my toilet. <laughs> Listen. I'm not here to scrub the toilets as much. Yeah, I don't so. do toilets. I do pretty much everything here. I cook, I clean, I don't do toilets. I don't do them. I don't do them. So that's still in Nate's world and <laughs> he does it his way. <laughs> Bleach. <laughs> so there's our non-natural product for that reason alone. I found this because 
Well, should we take it all out of the baggies? Take it out. What do you got? Yeah, that's love. I love me my honey crisp apples. And then I was like, I'll just have oatmeal this week because I love oatmeal too. That'll work. But he's like, you're out of sweet potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> so she said that. <laughs> like, no, I didn't eat sweet potatoes this week. And I did that. This girl. So guess how many sweet potatoes I bought? Five pounds. Five pounds you did? Five pounds of yeah. sweet potatoes. Yeah, because that 10 pound bag you got me from Costco is gone. Just, you smoked <laughs> that 10 pound, man. Like you just blew that up. You were like, you're like a sweet potato. I'll have it. Um, nom, 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 nom. Well, yeah, when I eat them, I probably do like three of these, which aren't that big at a time. Probably, maybe yeah. four. <laughs> five five pounds of sweet potatoes because I figured that's like a minimum. <laughs> so if you eat oatmeal, you'll still be okay. You pick them up on your way back home. First thing. Right. Yeah. So that's everything. Oh, and bananas. Bananas. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then also, is that it? Yeah? Yeah. We also did get a little bit of plastic. We just have them hidden, but plastic Easter eggs and some... Um, candies and like uh put some money in it for the kid and we'll do it in the backyard i don't know but he he doesn't really care about that like we said we would do it once all this you know ends and he straight up told me he's all yeah. can you surprise me <laughs> he said he's like can you at least just make it happen he did and i'm like yeah and i wasn't planned for it so he found some plastic eggs thank yeah. god so he found some plastic eggs and uh some little uh, little packets of like candies mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna throw a few dollars in there just to kind of soften the blow. Soften the blow. <laughs> my kid's turning into a money hungry little grommet man. I opened my wallet the other That's day and he literally did the Ooh. and he's always like can I have that 10 and I was all shit so I made him do math equations with money to calculate out to get ten dollars out of my wallet. Yeah and so he did. He had, he had to bring me ones to give him a 20 to come back with a five and so we made a game out of it. But yeah, homeboy freaking snatched $10 from me. He wants this new Lego set that's like $250. I had to teach him taxes, by the way, for the first time. So it's $219. <laughs> because, because there's $21 worth of tax on it. Yeah, that. and I told him it's like actually $240 because of taxes. And when something's 99 cents, you know, it's actually like a dollar eight or a dollar seven. He's like, what? And I was like, I don't get it either, but like it is. <laughs> I don't get it either. Uh, but yeah, so he really wants this. And he's got what, like 150 bucks saved up. But he's He's always looking for his, you know, ways to get more. Um, he's been rolling all of his coins. Yep. Uh, so he's got, we got to turn that in eventually. But part of me is like, you know what? These, this $250 set is like ridiculous. He has like one or two sets that are like the super expensive Lego sets mm -hmm. from like Christmas and stuff. Yeah. But as much as it's like, geez, it's also something that would keep him busy for at least a while. Cause like the 20 and $40 set Legos, like they're great. He loves them. He's done in an hour. Like he's under an under hour. An hour under now. An like hour. he's done and it's cool. Well, but then, then what? Well, even like his big spaceship one for those yeah. of you <laughs> right after Christmas, the yeah. spaceship one, which Guys was for huge. Kids. People with boys. <laughs> huge. Had like nine individual yeah. bags on the inside. What, he smashed that thing out in like six hours, seven hours? Yeah. So, but I mean, it kills some more time. But, so part of me is kind of like, he wants to save up for this like green train one. I don't know. And mm -hmm. I'm like, well, it's kind of almost worth it. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to work for some more money and more chores this week. We can start teaching him how credit works. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not do that. Everyone figures that out on their own in their early uh, or late teens. <laughs> anyway, wait, wait, wait. I mean this plastic. This thing you can just is swipe worth it? two grand. Yeah. Anyway, what else is new? Any other updates? No, that's the only update. I'm I'm trying to. I'm just uh, just trying to deal with it. For oh, me, yeah. For me, it's been like, I mean, I even slept like garbage last night yeah. and it's like, we, I came home, I relaxed and all that stuff, but it, I don't know. For, for those of you who have employees mm. and you start really caring about the person, I guess, I don't know. I'm one of those people with my leadership style where I care about my people sometimes more than I care about myself. So I'm worried about my employees. 
Um, I'm worried about my other managers or my peers that are dealing with their feelings about dealing with our employees to try and, you know, it's the livelihood of other people. So for me, I'm just kind of stressed in that manner. I hide it really well, but I just, I internalize a lot. So for me, it's still there. I don't worry outwardly, but you know, but we're just working through all that and just trying to make the best decisions and staying, staying in line with trying to make sure those people are okay. These people are okay. And then I just saw this morning too that like my old gym, which I still hold very dear to my heart, you know, and mm -hmm. I, I'm very close with all the people still there, including the owner. And they just got broken into last night. Yeah. Just his computers mm -hmm. and stuff just ripped. And yeah. it's just, it's just a lot, you know, and it's, this is happening everywhere. It's, we're not special. This is everywhere right now. And it's just a lot. Yeah, I've had a rough couple of days, but I'm, yeah. I'm kind of better processing yeah. it now. Um, yeah. We're at a point where it's like, you can get a little numb and yeah. then you can also just process what can be processed and you, you start to walk forward again. Yeah. You know? And so give yourself grace, you know, like then, just, you, then you get some limes, you get some limes, you get some diet tonic. Cause you know, I mean, clearly just balance is important. I, do you, Oh, another thing about this. I love how it says, if three-fourths of your drink is a mixer, three-fourths? <laughs> Baby, you just adding bubbles. That's all you're doing. <laughs> you just adding bubbles. That's all you're doing. No spritz. <laughs> three-fourths. Okay. Are you crazy? <laughs> you know. <laughs> we make them stiff. We, you, you make them the way they need to be made. Anyway, but uh, yeah, it's just, it's, it's a time, but we have to just remember no matter what, no matter how much this stupid thing gets extended, it will pass. It mm -hmm. will, it will change yeah. and we'll, we'll be ready for it when it does. So yeah, yeah, that's where we're at. But again, tomorrow, I think we're going to have a vegan cuts box for you guys before Nate goes. Cause now I'm really riding solo with like mm -hmm. filming stuff and I can't really go anywhere, you know, just right. like everyone else, but I don't even have any kind of outlet <laughs> now to do that. And, so, and I don't like committing to it because sometimes my business trips get super hectic, yeah. but I'll try and film. He's going to try because he's going to, he's in I a place, a it's like a kitchen and everything. So he's going to try to go to Trader Joe's and I, I made him his list. Uh, <laughs> so I'll have my grocery haul. Yes. He's going to try and like coming. upload that on a cloud where I can download it and get it before he's even back to yeah. like share. Without it losing guys. quality though. Because we've done we this try. before and it's been real bad quality. I know. Part of him like saying he's going to be out of time. I'm like, but our people. <laughs> I know. It's a thing. But yeah, he's going to get his lentil wraps, a veggie wrap, trail mix, bottled water, uh, steel cut oats. And, but he wants me to actually make the oats. Yeah. And then he's like, I'll replace them. Yeah. Anyway, Dude, I'm being serious. I can't make steel coat oats. Yeah, I'll, but no, we're gonna freeze the tray so it survives the the drive. The, the drive. Oh my gosh! And then uh, tofu, cauliflower stir fry, coconut amino, taco sauce. As you do, these are all essentials. <laughs> Orange juice, soyaki, and then stuff to make cereal bowls too. Yeah, you're all set, my friend. <laughs> all right, is that it? That's it, and that's all. That's it, and that's all. I don't think we need anything else. I think we're good. Button down the hatches. <laughs> Button down the hatches. All right, my friends. We'll wrap this up. Hope you're well. Yeah. Kids coming. Oh. And uh, try to make Easter the best that you can. Yeah, have a good damn Easter. <laughs> have a good one. Uh, have a good Easter, man. Yeah. Get, your, get your FaceTime on with your yeah. families and, and uh, be safe. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you soon. Don't you know?